Hi, I'm Pam Kudra. I'm an instructor for anatomy and physiology at Goodwin College. The class that I teach specifically is Anatomy and Physiology 2, which is the second semester sequence from Anatomy and Physiology 1. We teach the anatomy of the human body as well as the physiology, which would be things like chemistry aspects of the human body, the metabolism and, and things along those lines. And we do laboratory experiments, and one of the things that we do is that we do dissection. And we begin the semester with doing dissection of a cow's eye, and we move on to a pig's heart. And then our final dissection for the semester is a fetal pig. Anatomy and Physiology too does the cardiovascular system, it does the digestive system, we study the respiratory, urinary, and reproductive system, so the fetal pig is our uh, final dissection because we can look at all of the body sections when we do dissection. Now, when students think of dissection, sometimes they're a little squeamish and they're a little anxious and frankly the piglets are kind of cute and people feel a little upset that we're dissecting a fetal pig. But once we start the dissection and they start exploring, they feel in such awe that all of the material that we've covered, now they can see it in a real organism and how interesting it is and they can not only see it visually, you see it three dimensionally, and you also get to touch and feel the different consistency of the organs because they're all a little bit different one from the other. A heart is a very hard structure, and then you have something very soft like a pancreas. And students really get a lot of information out of that because we all learn by utilizing multiple modalities of learning. We read, we listen, we look at things, we look at diagrams, we look at models, but when you actually get into tissues and actual animals, you can also have the sense of touch involved in your exploration, and that's very helpful. So dissection is a very valuable part of what we do. Um, our class is a pre-professional class. We have some students who go into the allied health field, such as nursing or respiratory care, but it is also a standalone as a sequence for any biology major whatsoever. Part of what we're teaching is the idea that when you're on real living tissue, you have to identify organs based upon their location and their shape and possibly their texture, and that you can't rely on color-coded pictures. The pictures or the diagrams are designed to help students learn. And it's also great because, of course, Organisms are three-dimensional, and when you try to describe something with a picture, it's only a two-dimensional picture, and it's very difficult sometimes for students to get the relationship of the structures and the tissues that tie them together. And when they actually um, are able to do the dissection, they'll say to me later, wow, I didn't know what that meant when I read about it, but now I understand. So it's a huge tool in helping students understand. All laboratories are uh, overseen by OSHA. So every lab that you walk into, you definitely have very specific laboratory rules. And those include things like no fooling around and no roughhousing. And you, of course, have to be careful if we're dissecting or using sharp implements or using scalpels. So you want safety first in all instances. Students are required when you're doing dissection to wear goggles and gloves. I like the lab to be really lively with people asking questions and talking and sharing, and I encourage interaction amongst students. So what I like the most about lab is that there's a tremendous amount of student interaction, and it's also my small group time because my lectures can be 40 students, but our labs are only 20. So students have a tremendous amount of time to do one-on-one -on -one with me. We have very lively lab, and you know that's uh, my preference and as an instructor, and I think our students get a lot out of that, and they seem to have a good time. It's, it's always you know, something to look forward to is going to lab.